Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kingfish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys all the information you need to know on how these guys work. So these are sponge filters, as you can see. These are some of my best friends in the aquarium hobby. These guys have saved me so much time and they're definitely my favorite filter to add to a lot of my aquariums. I've seen way too many people on forums and on Facebook and stuff like that asking me how these things work and not just me like posting about it because I mean, to be honest, they do look confusing. They're very cheap and they can look like a bit of a scam. I can tell you guys, they're definitely not a scam. Today, I'm gonna to really, really quickly explain how these guys work and why you should add them to your aquariums because these have been, honestly, they have been some of my best friends and I've had a lot of fun keeping them in my aquariums and they've just made this hobby super easy for me. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video for the YouTube algorithm and consider giving this video a like because it really does help it out. Also, because I'll explain how these work and without any further ado, let's get started. So basically in the aquarium hobby, what's gonna happen is normally when you go out and buy an aquarium, you're gonna get sold a filter obviously because we need to filter our aquariums. And what's gonna happen is the pet store or whatever is gonna try and sell you like a hang on back filter or like a canister filter or something like that. And there's a few reasons why. So basically, Canister filters and hang on back filters have a lot of like accessories, so like filter pads and media and things like that, which needs to be replaced quite often. So you can kind of already see like the scheme of events that's gonna happen is you're gonna buy a really expensive filter and then there's gonna be a lot of media upgrades and replacements and things like that. And the chances are you're gonna have to go and buy more of that stuff from the pet store. So they're gonna keep getting money and yeah. With these guys, you don't have any of that stuff. Sponge filters are a very, very cheap alternative to filtration in an aquarium and they pretty much do the exact same job. So if you guys wanna know why I keep sponge filters, it's gonna be a video right here that you guys can go through and watch and I'll explain everything about sponge filters, like why I keep them and why a lot of other people in the aquarium hobby keep them. But basically today's video is how these guys work. So these guys cost like normally around like six to eight dollars, sometimes they're a little bit more if you wanna get bigger ones and things like that. And they run off of an air pump. So there's normally two styles we can get. We can get a style like the one you see here which is gonna be, this is gonna be more of like a sinking style of filter. It's gonna sit on the bottom of the aquarium and then it's gonna have like an air intake going through this tube, as you can see here, and it's gonna power like that. And then we can also get some of the like wall hung, like the one you see here, and they're gonna sit on the opposite side of the aquarium and they're gonna have like a little tube, like you can see right here, that's gonna take the air pump in there. So obviously it can be confusing. A lot of people don't understand like how these guys work because basically people plug them in and then they just see like bubbles coming out and they don't see any actual water getting normally sucked into them like you'd see with the filter intake and things like that. So basically, it's really, really simple how these guys work. What's gonna happen is, like I'll explain it on the other one too. What's gonna happen is you're gonna have an air pump and the air pump is gonna pretty much use this tube to blow air into the body of the filter. So what's inside the filter? We've got these two media pads. What are these for? These are obviously for taking out little pieces of particles and things like that in the water, but they're also for the most important thing in a filter and that's the beneficial bacteria. So these are gonna help you in the nitrate cycle of the aquarium and they're gonna make sure that you get all the like denitrifying bacteria to start doing their job and making that aquarium work. So these guys sit there and they obviously act as the filtration. But what you're gonna have is these two intakes here. So what's gonna happen is air is gonna be blown into this tube and then the air is gonna come out. There's another little hole inside here, which I can't show you guys. And what's gonna happen is the air is gonna be pushed out of here. And then after this, the bubbles obviously are gonna to rise to the top of the surface of the water. So this is gonna be full of water here when you add this to your aquarium. And the bubbles are gonna to rise to the top and start coming out the top. And the thing that happens with the water in the suction part of this is that when these bubbles are coming up, I'm not a physicist, so I can't really talk about the physics of this, but basically what happens is it drags water up with it. So it creates a lot of momentum upward. In turn, creates a lot of suction. So water's gonna be sucked from these little intakes here, as you can see. So these will have like your filter media over the top of them. And these are gonna suck in water and as these bubbles are coming up. So it's really not complicated. That's how they work. So these will sit on here. They're gonna collect all of that like debris that's coming through there. It's a very, very low like intake. They're not very powerful, obviously, depending on how much air you're blowing into the tube. But a lot of people think, well, how's that actually sucking up anything into the filters? Because like, it seems like these are very, very thick and they're not gonna let any water through it. These guys do a really good job of taking debris out of the water. And like every month when I clean my sponge filters, I squeeze them out and there's so much debris in there. So they do a really good job of taking out small particles in the water and filtering the water. So that's how they work. They pretty much work by just pumping air into them. And then when the air tries to go out the surface again, it drags up a lot of water with it. The sponge filters take advantage of this little factor, like obviously the suction, and then they use that to filter your water. So the sinking sponge filters work the same. They're pretty much, if we open them up, they have like a little hole like the one you can see here. 
Air's blowing to the bottom of this and that creates the flow upwards. A lot of water is sucked through the sides of this, so this has all got holes around, it's like a cage. And water gets sucked through the side of this and pulled up by the bubbles that are going to the top of the water. And that's how they work. It can be really confusing. I remember when I was like a little kid, I didn't get it because like I hadn't kept these guys before and it seemed like a scam because they were so cheap. Definitely not a scam. These guys are awesome. The other thing that happens when you use these guys in your aquarium is that they actually add a lot of oxygen to the water because they have to suck water through like little holes and pores and things like that. So they do a really good job of aerating your water and you get like a two for one kind of deal here. And yeah, they just work really, really good. So that's how sponge filters work. I thought I'd explain this just so that a lot of people like would be able to understand how they work. And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.